Hey, what's that white thing over there? Closer, please. That white thing there. What they call that? Is that a pee or a poop? Mm, I think we should call it poopy. Hello everyone! What's up, what's up? It's me again, Super Junkie. Hello to all exotic lovers around the world, especially to all those tarantula keepers because I'm one of you. Tonight, this vlog is all about how to handle a tarantula properly and specifically, we will be handling a tarantula called Gramosola pulcha. Pulcha? Pulcra? Whatever. You spell it as P-U-L-C-H-R-A. Pulcha, choose your own flavor. But based on my experience, this type of a tarantula or a species of a tarantula is a very dormant type. So, if you are curious about it, please keep on watching this video. Bye-bye! You might be asking, why am I giving some tips and advices on how to handle a tarantula properly? Well, in fact, we have these certain groups or some groups that do not allow or prohibit the handling of tarantula in our exotic animals. Yes, there are. Because number one, you might get bitten by your tarantula and introduce some venom in your system. Number two, when it scratches its back, its hair might fly and come to you and your body produces some allergic reaction. Number three, you are inflicting damage to your tarantula and stress it out. So remember guys to be careful and always, always, always remember that when handling your tarantula, you handle it at your own risk. And it's 2 a.m. in the morning and I'm still awake. And you can hear on my surroundings the noise of the crickets and some insects. I'm checking on my tarantula, this Gramosola pulcha, to see if she is safe and sound for handling because in a few moments I will be handling this and I'll be teaching you on how or what's the proper way to handle a tarantula. Look at her, I like her color, I love the way how it's black and by the way she is called Brazilian black and she is I think one of the most gorgeous tarantulas I have and one of my favorites actually. Please feed your tarantula one to two days prior to your handling so that the risk of you getting bitten by your tarantula is lower because if tarantulas are hungry, they have this tendency to bite. And now we will try to handle her. But first, uh, let's check her mood using this pencil. Okay, just tap it at her back or just touch it a little like this. She's gonna feel it. And that. Uh, you got a reaction. Just tap, tap it bit by bit, and you will see the reaction. She will walk like you are guiding her. And when she does that, put your uh, other hand or your palm on the other side and make her path. Tap again as if you are guiding her. Top, okay little by little but I think uh, she she doesn't she still doesn't want to be held let's see now this time use your two hands and we are using my hands slowly by slowly uh, she got these uh, hooklets on her legs that's why it's hard to pull do not pull actually you might uh, her legs might get left behind so she doesn't want that means no and we'll try another time 
Okay, we're using this pencil again to tap her legs or some part of its back bit by bit, little by little. And this time I'm putting my hands in front already, but not too front. It's like we're making a pot again. Little by little, top the legs, the end legs, the hind legs. And yes, she is reacting. Okay, this time I'm using my two hands and you will see this. Look at her, look at her. She wants this. Okay, okay, it's a little bit tickling. He got these hooklets on her legs, on her foot. And... ta -da! Look at her, I'm holding her. This time, look at her. She's really beautiful. Wow. Amazing. Actually, tarantulas are nocturnal animals. They are not considered insects because they have eight legs. Therefore, they are called arachnids. Arachnids like crabs. Look at her back. She got the, the, the golden, golden tinge. Uh, most common to Gramostola group. Oh, look at her. She got those eyes. I'm really in love with black. Did you see her web? I see her web. When you are handling your tarantula, please put in mind that you should not be handling it for too long because you are introducing or inflicting damage and stress to it. And she wanna come back to her home. Look at her. Oh, oh, she wants to come back. And we're bringing her back to her home because I bet she's missing her home. Okay, but before that, one last time, we are handling her again. And just like this, you just pass your hand and pass your hand again so she can move. Let her move on your, on your palm or on your hands. Let her enjoy the moment. But be careful. Please. Please be careful. Isn't she lovely? Oh, I think she is very cute. She is a large lady. I can still remember when I was still a newbie in the hobby. I didn't know that uh, we shouldn't be or I should not be handling my tarantula because I'm still a newbie and I don't know, I still don't know uh, what to do or how to handle my tarantula. But now I'm more than 5 years, I learned how to do it. So the more you mature in the hobby, the more you think that you should not be handling your tarantula because it's more fun to watch them and live on the four sides of their terrarium and now we're bringing her home okay we're putting her let her climb on her mini tree a tree without leaves <laughs> Say goodbye. Okay, we're saying goodbye. We are bidding goodbye to our drama solo poetry. Good.
Good night, lady. Beautiful lady. See you soon. Enjoy the night. So guys, if you find this vlog very helpful to you, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell button for more videos to come. Thank you very much and God bless. Bye-bye.